Agriculture is a very ancient practice of India and Indian soils have been used for growing crops over thousands of years without caring much for its replenishment. In agriculture, the main problem which every small or large scale farmer faces is the assurance on the economic sustainability. The problem is more challenging due to several unknown parameters like rainfall and other weather parameters to name a few. Keeping all these problems in mind, PCS Innovation Labs came out with an idea of providing personalized advisory platform for the farmers. This platform is called M Krishi. The research team works towards various challenging research problems. These include mitigation of diseases, nutrient and pest disorders in crops, and automatic detection of agriculture activities. We are looking at a concept like directed research where the field team based on the needs of the customers they forecast what could be game changers two years down the road and based on that the research team is directed to fill the void which currently exists. In MKRISHI ecosystem there exists a vast experience and knowledge which is residing in agriculture institutes. However, this has not been used by and large. We realize that it is important to work towards various technological solutions which will bridge the gap between farmer and agriculture expert. Pest or disease attack causes a huge economic loss for different crops every year. Main cause for this loss is either wrong identification of disease or improper usage of pesticide. So farmers need experts' guidance for proper identification of diseases and also advices related to the corrective actions they should take after or before the pest or disease attack. We are working on image processing algorithm to identify the disease and to find out the disease severity for different crops like potato, citrus, grapes, etc. We are providing farmers a mobile application through which they can click images from their farms and uh, send those images to the server where this image processing based algorithm processes those images to find out what type of disease it is and uh, the disease severity also. Based on these results, experts can give advice uh, to the farmers like what type of uh, corrective actions they should take, like what type of uh, pesticide they should apply and at what amount. Weather parameters are collected using wireless sensor networks. Sensor nodes are deployed in fields which sense temperature, humidity and many other different weather parameters and are sent to the server for analyzing the weather condition. And to provide advices related to the disease severity, human participation is used. The application utilizes Google Map and inbuilt GPS of the mobile to mark the boundary of the particular farm. Here, the person has to first log in and select the area registration feature. Then, he or she needs to move along the selected farm. The application dynamically marks the boundary, displays it on the map and uploads it. We have developed an Android-based application to collect sensor data such as of GPS, accelerometer and gyroscope from the farm. These phones are tied on the upper arm of the farmer or kept in the trouser pocket. Or alternatively, we have sensor shirt to be worn by the farmers to collect similar kind of data. A mobile sensing framework has been developed which uses machine learning algorithms for the classification and detection of these agricultural activities. We are able to detect activities such as harvesting, transplantation, bed making, standstill and walking with an average accuracy of up to 90%. Remote sensing data which is available from number of satellites provides information in different bands which is not visible to the naked eye. Here, M. Krishi envisions use of these information for agriculture. M. Krishi platform envisions to make use of this technology to provide alerts and advices to the farmers based on information obtained from satellite data through M. Krishi platform. In future, we aim to work towards energy efficient algorithms and greater penetration of sensors and more involvement of farmers uh, in our rural participatory sensing framework.